That was a huge piece of bark. Well, what kind of wood is this? Mahogany. 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 I can't wait. This has been sitting in a warehouse for eight years to dry out. Eight years. You can even see on the top of this that they wrote down that it was, I guess, cut in 2012, or is it? Cut, that's when we received it. That's when y'all so received it. Might it. Been, it might have been out even longer. I see. And you can't carve things right away because there's too much moisture in the wood. So you have to let it sit for a long time. And let it dry out. And let it dry out. But sometimes it's just longer because you don't know what to do with it and you're afraid to touch it because it's such a cool piece. Right. Okay, so for those of y'all who don't know, this is my boss. I hate saying that. I don't like calling don't you my call boss. This is my friend Sebastian. This is uh, his warehouse where he does a lot of stuff. Actually, I'll just let you explain it. What exactly? Oh, your your oh, phone's ringing. Phone. All right, explain what exactly you do for a living. Well, we are, we we I own a little construction company, but that's just to make ends meet. And the real reason I started my own business was to, you know, do stuff like this. And we're going to be carving an incredible sculpture in the next two weeks out of this beautiful piece of wood. And uh, we also do custom furniture, but this is really the fun part and why I went into business in the first place. But you know, with the construction, it keeps us all busy and you do what you gotta do. But just wait, because in two weeks, we'll get to show what this is all about. That's awesome. I'll have to explain to y'all like his story too. He has an incredible story. You're only 23, right? 23. And he's been doing this for how long? Sculpting 10 years. T 10 years the that's construction four. that's insane with this with this piece right here which y'all can probably tell from uh the thumbnail depending on what picture i choose for the thumbnail uh we are going to be creating a a mushroom type of figure out of this half a tree is what it looks like to me we're going to be filming the whole entire process and it's going to be awesome so we got like a stem right here i'm thinking the cap all the way down to there and so we start like this so i'll make a mark like that and we'll probably stop it like right there we can start cutting into here take this out mark we take that out all the way around we'll make another mark here we take it off from there to there so we take off this this lip right here how do you get inside of it like the stem is you'll, you'll see so you'll see here let me make the first cut So that's gonna be the top of uh, the bigger mushroom head, the cap. What? But pretty much we've been, uh, what, chiseling everything? Yes. Yeah, that thing looks crazy. Where's the blade at? Right here. Feel the heat right coming off that blade. Ugh. Don't touch it. Ow. Yeah. No, that's hot. I'm gonna throw an Instagram clip in uh, of what this just looked like. Can 
he just freaking went all the way through the middle i didn't know how that was gonna work actually like because i asked you about that earlier i guess that's how you do it freaking just chain take a huge chainsaw to the middle of it so that's the little cap right there and the big cap so we've already started to sand down i guess what is that tool called what is it exactly does that do i would say grind i guess it kind of grinds it down because when we sand is when we use a real fine paper to get it pretty basically here watch this day one working on this for about two hours or so you can see uh, the tops of the caps developing for sure already. So this compared to this, like just look how smooth that is. It feels smooth too. Well, that's just the beginning. This is a 60 grit. We got to take it all the way up to a 400 by Holy the time crap. we're done. Then we oil it, but that's a long way away. But the whole thing's got to look like that. These parts are easier. We can them with the orbital. The rest has to be all hand sanded. When we start doing the stalks. Sounds fun, hand sanding. Sounds like a lot of time, too. A lot of time. <laughs> well, we're closing up shop. I guess that's uh, day one. Part two. Sebastian actually did a lot of work since since part one so i'm gonna let him explain what he's done so far and kind of give you all some shots of what it looks like right now i mean the beginning goes fast because i'm taking off all the extra stuff but as you can see this the smaller taller mushroom is starting to take its final shape so now the bulk of the material is gone so it takes this is where it starts to slow down at least on this side because there's a lot left on this side you just had to put the holes through there because uh yeah that's how we get that. I wanted to separate uh, the one mushroom from the other because I could see this one in there more than this one. I have a lot more material to work with. This is a bigger piece. So to separate each stalk, you, you do your drawing, and I can't just get in here with the chainsaws easily. So you, drill, you get your drawing, you figure out what you want to separate, and you drill holes all around the rim. And then you can snap, you can run the chainsaw through those little pieces and it cuts a lot easier. Over there. What the hell is that thing? This is my mini pneumatic <gasps> chainsaw. Ooh, okay. When you want to take off big amounts of material, you see me score it with the chainsaw, but you also want to score it in the other direction. That way these pieces just pop right off. Just like that. Yeah, fucking sun rock. This is coming along. 
Looks like you've gotten a lot done. We've got, we've, so far, I'm pretty happy with what we did today. There's just a long way to go. Here. That's it. No way. So far, we're probably about 14 hours in. 14 hours in. Because every day we pay the price. We deliver The stem is just getting thinner and thinner. I love it. Coming in. It's gonna look amazing, dude. Tired for the day, but you never want to stop. Whoa. We're probably gonna end the video here. This is part two. He, Sebastian, you got a shitload done today. Like, it looked completely different from when we first started the video. We got way more done today than my goal was. And we're still gonna do a little bit more before we go home, but it's really starting to take shape on both sides now. Man. This was the less finished side previously, and it's really getting its... Starting to, you're starting to be able to tell what it is, which is really cool. Well, this part where we're really starting to get close to our final forms. There's really not much chainsaw work that still has to be done, so we'll probably take this hump down, kind of give it a little curve so it looks more natural and fades into the bottom. Anticipated 100 hours, we're probably into it 20, and uh, I put us at almost halfway done. Hell yeah. I can't wait. I love this stuff. Guys, make sure to like, subscribe. Leave a comment down below about what y'all think. Make sure to hit up this guy for any construction work, anything like that. And uh, I guess we'll see y'all on part three.